Imagine a man meeting me in this dress and still playing with my time. This man saw me walk in the lounge last night, left his seat to come sit beside me, watch me order a hookah and not one but two drinks, whole time talking my ear off begging for a date, and didn't pick up the check. Baby, this was the date. So no, you can't have my number, because the only thing that passed the vibe check was this dress. I ain't gonna lie, them cheeks is cheeking, but... Um, come on, come on, baby girl. Come on, baby girl. Why we can't have a conversation and you pay for your stuff, I pay for mine. We go to the first date, then I could splurge on you. Why everything gotta be about money? Like, why we can't just vibe without money getting involved? I tell my wife this all the time. If we was not together, I would have a hard time dating in 2024. I refuse to be the who feeds you for you to go to the crib and f somebody else on a full stomach don't sleep that's what be happening who you think she on the phone with texting you in there paying for her hookah paying for her drinks while she on the phone setting up a appointment ah them smells get the f out of here we definitely not doing that good <laughs> i knew a place for the water i gotta get you out of is that 2025 <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And then what are you going to cause? Yes, what can I do? Abima. Boom, boom. What? Yo. What? What? it? Ah, Jesus. You? What? This reminds me when I was in the Caribbean. We used to make scooters out of wood. <sighs> Sometimes I do miss growing up in Grenada. I do miss Grenada a lot. And other times I don't. But when I see videos like this, it definitely reminds me of my childhood. Okay, so as you can see, I look back at the camera to see if it's actually recording. I'm like, okay, so nobody around. Cool. Let's get it. So I'm doing the one hand. I'm like, okay, these ropes are cute. I've never really seen them before. Let me try it. Then I'm like, ooh, let me try the two hand because that one hand was a little bit too much work. This was probably even more work. Full body. So I'm like, nah. Okay, so as you can see, I look back at the camera to see if it's actually recording. I'm like, okay. Listen, I can't knock you for, for what God blessed you with. Um, I just know if I was in that gym, I would have just went home. Do you think men are insecure if they care about a woman's body count? What I did prior to you is none of your business. It is my business. Because that is not relevant to today and our future together. Would you date a man who had previously slept with 20 men? That'd be a tough one. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Checkmate. Would you ask about a felony record? Yeah. Because that affects where we're going to live and what we're going to do. At it's all. none of your business what I did in the past, right? It's none of your business what I did. Sexual. I'm reformed oh, now yes. and everything's please, great now, right? Please. Do you think men are insecure? Yo, that, that, um, that question about would you date a man that slept with 20 men? That's a checkmate question for real. Queens. Queens. I know y'all don't think body count matters, but body count really does matter. If you allow multiple men to just enter your insides. You're a used car. You didn't see enough value in yourself. Them dudes that ran through you didn't see enough value in you. And now you want me to see value in you. That's why I'm going to stop and tips from an ex-cop don't be at everybody house mm. especially if you know that person does illegal activity it's like it should be self-explanatory but let me tell you something let me tell you a tale a tale from an ex-cop so i get a 911 call person down that's the only information that they gave me they don't give us a lot of information so person down so i get to the house i pull up i'm the first responding officer i get there a girl comes out she's crying she's distraught so i'm like what's going on she couldn't even speak so i go in the house Soon as I walk in, everybody did. And not like the song, All My Friends Are Dead. No, everybody really is gone, right? Shot, everybody, even the dog. So I'm clearing the house. I'm making sure the suspect is not in the house, um, looking for more victims, trying to see what's going on. 
Anyway, the girl says, hey, this is my boyfriend. He sells drugs out this house. Um, I actually, it's Valentine's, and this was Valentine's Day, y'all. I actually, actually asked him last night if I could stay tonight because it was Valentine's Day. He said no, um, that he didn't want her to stay at the spot. And she said, so I just came today to drop off a Valentine's Day gift. Really, she was trying to see if somebody else was there in the morning. But anyway, <laughs> thank God. Thank God that she wasn't there. Um, so the tip, don't be, don't, don't even visit. If you know that person ain't doing what they supposed to be doing at the house, don't even, don't even visit. Facts. Don't even do it to yourself. Facts. Just say no. I tell y'all a story when I was in college. I told a story before on YouTube, but my school, they had us living in these, um, apartment and we lived there with so it's my school which is the art institute of atlanta clark atlanta georgia tech and i believe uh morris and spellman but i'm not too sure about morris and spellman if they had their students in there a place is called metro point lost they've since changed the name i think it's called like west mar now or something like that at that particular time when we were students and we lived in there it was a lot of drug activities going on in there. students that sold weed out of their their rooms and one of the particular students was my friend. You know, he did his little side thing, did his little hustle or whatever. I don't want to go too much into details because we actually know who did it. But I used to be down there all the time. We had chairs or whatever. And we had a desk. Like, it was built into the wall. So I used to be linked up on the desk by the wall playing the PlayStation. Go to school, come back, go over there, chill with them. Because that was a hangout spot for all of us. And then I will go play basketball or something like that. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Hold on, I'll get my wife. I'll get my wife because I wanna like, I wanna, I want y'all to understand. I want y'all to understand like the depth of this story. Can you uh, come down here right quick? I wanna. I'm telling the story, but I want you to be here to like, you know, to as an actual witness that you can add your two cents. Hi, Miss B. Okay. All right. Hello. All right. I, I had my wife came down here, but no, I had mercy. You had your wife come down here? I'm sorry, I can't even speak. Kick her out. Go ahead. Oh, Lord. Come sit on your lap. Sit on daddy lap. Please so do that. Oh. oh, my gosh. Mm. He's so dramatic, husband. Ooh, yeah. That's warm, too. Um, damn. What was I talking about? All right. So, I was telling the story about Metro Point. And, um... The situation that happened with, um... Say, Cam. Mommy's coming, okay? What's the question? Tomorrow, can we go to Publix? Yes. I this man said, tomorrow, tomorrow, can we go to Publix okay. and buy groceries? Okay, Yo. Yes. And he want to get some spicy chicken. Boy, this man is hilarious. Okay, Mommy, now close the door. I'm coming up here in a minute, okay? Let me tell y'all something. When y'all have kids, your okay, kids... Cam? A master blockers. Just, just remember that. And that ain't nothing finna happen right now. But I don't know. I ain't even gonna say that. That dress look nice. Look you working? Ain't nothing finna happen. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, so ma'am. Ain't nothing finna happen. Uh, so anyway, um, I was telling the story about Metro Point and basically how you saved my life but I'm, I'm alright so how I saved your life yeah you remember it must have been inadvertently I must have been begging you to spend time with me and you you came to my residence no just, I just listen to the story cause you you do remember you I do remember I, I don't know why you wasn't there you was with me that's how I saved your life yeah hold on alright anyway so my particular friend group they dibble dabble in illegal stuff okay there's a lot of people in there that was selling the dorms and my particular friend group was a part was one of those groups. Um, I used to be in that room all the time. I used to be playing the PlayStation, and I used to play the PlayStation same spot all the time. We had a desk that was built into the wall. I used to sit on the desk or sit by the desk, be playing uh, NBA Live. Was it NBA Live at the time? Yeah, it wasn't 2K yet. It was NBA Live. So anyway. The problem with that, right, and I should have known better and I should have said something because, you know, I used to dibble-dabble in street pharmaceuticals um, when I was in high school. You're so proud. I'm not you be, proud. You be beaming with, like, every time I just, you You know what? Is. You know what? I am proud. I had... I'm not green. So, I am proud. I had an experience. I had an experience. So, yes, I am proud. So, anyway, so I, you I, want I, your son to be brown and not green? He can't be too green. 
but he don't. But he have don't to, have to do illegal. He activities. don't have to do illegal activity, okay. but at least he could, you know, what I'm saying, be street smart. I, I feel as though his dad and his mom, well, his dad is it has enough street smarts to um to guide him. Don't do me. I'm not. I was. Doing I was you, still I raised on the sidewalks. Okay, you learn a lot on the sidewalks of Brooklyn. Just because I wasn't in the sure, street, don't I was me. raised on the sidewalks. Is crazy. It's the truth. I wasn't in the streets, but I was definitely on the sidewalks with crack pipes on the f-ing sidewalk. So you still had to be aware. Don't do me. That's crazy. When you was in Grenada running with no shoes on, respectfully, I was f-ing dodging crack pipes on the sidewalk, watching junkies not off. Hold on, how I'm catching strays? What the? Because fuck? you talk about oh. Yeah, my his father got enough street smart. Don't do that. Don't. <laughs> yeah, how I'm catching strays? Well, so what? I didn't Watch have shoes. Out. Watch we had out. slippers. I had okay, slippers. Okay. Anyway, Respectfully to all the queer people out there, I mean it like that. But I'm just saying, y'all saw he, he tried to come at me. Yeah, nah, y'all caught some strays too. Ain't no respectfully. That that. Ain't, I mean, ain't, I, I love my Caribbean. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let me finish my story. So the problem was that my boy used to just have it out there, bro. He used to have the work out there, and sometimes he would be counting money when dudes would come into the room to buy stuff. That's a that's a no no. Really, motherfuckers shouldn't even be allowed to come inside the room. It's just knock the door, tell me what you want, I'm gonna bring it to you, whatever. That's how it's supposed to be. But he was so proud of what he was doing, he'd have all the work laid out. He a Libra too, huh? I don't remember, but he would have all the work laid out, and then he would have the money somewhere, or he'd be counting. You know what I'm saying, like. Folks would come in buying like a, a dime. It was they were selling dimes back then. You know this was back in the day, and um, I got a hundred. You got change for a hundred. You probably pull out like a thousand just to give the motherfucker ninety dollars. Like it, it, that it, sound real green to me. That you even put yourself in that environment, huh? Yo, let me finish my story, please. Okay. So, all right, that's a immediate setup for you to be wrong, because now people know what you're working with. This happened on a Friday. Show me what you're working. This happened on a Friday. Danae used to come to the dorms to see me on Friday. She would come Friday, Saturday, and leave Sunday. Like clockwork. Like clockwork, yes. So a lot of things was going on to where you you had to come sign your guests in. You always had to come sign your guests in. So any anybody came off that shuttle and they came to see you, they had to be signed in. I think you had a bag and you needed help too. But I had to come sign you in. Oh, so was it that purple duffel bag? Yeah. With the leather? Yeah. So, I was in the room, I ended up leaving the room, going to sign Danae in, and as we're walking back to my room, I see my boy, that's what we called, we saw him in around and he was limping. We name a name, girl? I'm going to block it out. Damn, I, I was out Oh, you. the greenery. What you mean? He wasn't selling. It's not like he was the one selling. Just well, still, how you know he want to be even affiliated with that situation? It's under them. It's on Google. Uh, Yo. Who's to say? Mayu. <laughs> Mayu. <laughs> I made you a part of my story. <laughs> you, Mayu. Anyway. So. We saw my boy. See, I, it's, it's so many of them that like. I thought that, I, that, no, wait, I right. said that's why he a Libra. I thought that's who you was talking about. I didn't no, know he wasn't. That, that oh, okay. wasn't him. So it was the light skin one that was the main one? No. Oh. The, well, the one that was my complexion. I don't think I remember him. He wasn't light skin and skinny? No. That's, uh, no. The other one. I don't remember that. But his roommate. All right. Mm-hmm. Damn. So anyway, we saw my boy Jay. We saw my boy Jay, right? So my boy Jay was walking up. He was limping, and then once he got to us, he collapsed. And we like, hey, bro, what happened? Like, yo, what's going on? I don't remember that. You remember him collapsing? No. And then we had to carry him to, um, to what's her name? To, to their room, the one that you and the girl that you ain't like that came to the hospital? Oh, we met her roommate, and you didn't meet her yet. Mm-hmm. So we had to carry him to the, yeah, chill out. So anyway, we had to carry You car- bringing up things that... <laughs> You, it was the brown skin girl, and yeah. then I met the light skin girl later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you like you was cool. You kind of vibed the light skin girl, but the brown skin one you didn't like. Oh, okay. The when we was at the hospital. Do you remember being at the hospital? I do. I remember carrying him, helping him to the car. Did we have to help him to the car? We had no, because the ambulance came and got him. Oh, was it like a dark alley? We had to help him. No, Welcome. we. That's where we found the other two. Oh, okay. Go ahead. 
I remember it in fragments. All right. I, 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 all right. So my boy Jay, we found my boy Jay. Um, we had to help him in the room. Then he was in the room. They called the ambulance for him. But we couldn't find the other two people that was in the room. So basically what happened, they had to jump out the window. The dudes came in there. They tried to... Um, they came in there. They tried to, to rob him off. My boy Jay wasn't going for that, even though it wasn't his stuff. They ended up hitting him over the head with the with the pistol, and then they end up trying to sh shoot folks, and they had to jump out the window. You know what would be a good like interlude? What? Remember that song, "Jumping Out the Window"? No, that's not. Look, come on, shush. Let me finish my story. Okay. I'm gonna kick you out. Kick me out? Yeah, man. Just but shush. But you remember that song? I, I, no, I don't remember that song. I don't. Just let me finish my story. So anyway, I. Right. I say all that to say, right? The spots where the bullet holes hit were the spots where I was sitting at playing the game. So more than likely, I probably would have got shot. And I feel as though you saved my life. Like they you see the where the bullet hole hit, like that's exactly where I used to sit at and play the game all the time. And anytime I was in the room, I was playing the game. That's crazy. I just feel like and I look, I had just left the room to come sign you in. I'm so, your, I'm your good luck charm. Just go ahead. I done saved your life inadvertently in so many ways. What you mean? Like, you done found so much opportunity out here in Atlanta. And who was your main reason for even coming to Atlanta? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just have a persuasion on you that just benefits you. It's okay. That's what, you know, the woman you like supposed to do. So that was just one instance. I'm glad that you recognize, and I'm What's honored that. Oh, oh yeah, I, I, I low key stopped hustling because of you. You told me you were still doing that. That's not the story. <laughs> but I'm just talking about the hey, fact I that stopped, you. Hey, I stopped. I, I stopped going crazy. You stopped going crazy, and you might have went back to doing it if I went away to college and you stayed. Who's to say how you would have turned out if you stayed in that environment that you yeah, hated so much? Yeah, if I stayed you in Brooklyn, you might have been like bitter. And you would have took that anger that you, you know, nah, I, I out on savage. people and all of that. Yeah, I would have been a savage if I was still in Brooklyn. Son, yeah, I would have been. I know I would have been a savage. I was preparing to be a savage, to be honest with you. I was preparing to be a savage because I was, I was low-key upset because I'm like, yo, I got into all these schools and my pops didn't want to send me out. He talking about, oh, I don't, the reason I'm not going to send you is because I don't trust you in another state. And I'm like, bro, I'll probably be better off in another state than I'm, I am here. Now, what, did you bring up the scholarship when you went? Away for the the scholarship that you got. Oh, the um, yeah, the Telleroy stuff. I yeah, I'm saying, did you mention that to him? I like, mentioned all that. I'm like, yo, like I went, I already went to like a college situation, and they, you know, they were really vibing with me, and it really like that place really, it really prepared me for college. So even though I was doing stuff in Brooklyn, I'm like, yo, if I went to college, like I I know how to operate, and then I came out here, I was already on the dean's list, even though I was you know doing stuff like I was. I was out here, man. So when he said, like, I don't trust you, I don't trust to send you off, I'm like, what? And then I end up going to the Art Institute. Granted, I came out here with you, but Loki, I still, I could have went to Georgia State because I got into Georgia State, too. It's still in Georgia. I know. That's what I'm saying. I could have went to Georgia State. Like, he low-key was like, well, why, what you going to go to these schools? So I'm like, I could study business. He's like, no, you can just go study art. I'm like, all right. So I came out here studying oh, graphics. That's his like, love language, though, because he knows that's what you into. I mean, yeah, but I just wish he would have listened to me in that. We we going into a whole nother topic, but I really wish he would have listened to me when it came to that because I felt as though I would have went further. Like, the, the artists two don't even exist anymore. I mean, I remember at that time you really were into art. And, you know, your father is very handy, and he made a living for a certain amount of time, especially in his youth, using his hands. That's how he met his current wife. So maybe he thought, like, you learning a trade in a college setting and something that you was passionate about would be most beneficial for you. And I know you don't really like your journey, but I remember times throughout your matriculation at that school that you did enjoy learning certain things and working on certain projects and some of your you know derelict ass friends not all of them you met them damn why they gotta be the derelicts <laughs> why they gotta Say, be derelicts that derelict behavior but like yeah you enjoyed their company and y'all had y'all made memories together so yeah. all was not lost yeah I just kinda wish I had a one cause I would've been a kappa 
I went to a regular university, I would have pledged, I would have been oh a captain. And then what school. if one of the first thing, you know they hate you. What if they, your name was Spike Lee, they they dragged you for your height all the time. Would you have been able to not punch them in the face, not retaliate? Yeah, until I, I you know, I'd have, no, but I, well, I ain't going to talk because yeah. you know, I ain't going to say too Respect. much. But I, I respectfully, I, I, you know, I do understand. Name respectfully, just. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. But okay. shoot, I'd have got, my, I'd been able to get my, my get back. I'd been able to get my get back. Okay. So I'd have held it in till I crossed, and okay. then you know. Yeah. And then we probably wouldn't have been together because all that would have went to your head. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, son. It, it maybe it was a good thing because if I'd have been a cap, I don't know who I'd been. So I'd turn somebody else. <laughs> I'd turn somebody else, man. I, and then I you probably would have got shot three times. So good thing everything works Shot out. Shot by who? The straight bullet that's going to get you if you ain't come get me. I wouldn't have been going to that school. I wouldn't have been in them dorms. You probably still would have found the same derelict ass friend. No, I wouldn't have. Catholics be derelict too, respectfully. At that age, it's just derelict. You know, you know what's crazy though? When we was at that school and them, um, I think it was the Q's. The Q's from your school had came over there. They came to a party over there. One of them had slapped a girl. Yo. We That's just wild. beat them asses in that parking lot. We beat they ass in that I parking so. lot, son. That shit was crazy. But at the same time, hey, no disrespect to my, my Q dogs out here. You feel me? But if you really understood that situation and how this man slapped Shorty, you, I feel as though you would understand why he deserved to get what he got. He slapped a woman. Yeah, he slapped, he slapped her, son. And it was based, it was on some, like, she didn't, she didn't want to give him her number or, like, he was trying to crack. It was something, son. You know, some some of these niggas feel as though when they part of that shit, it's like a gang. Like, they, they gang banging type shit. Yo, niggas was like, yo, bro, why you hit her? And the rest of them was like, nah, I ain't doing nothing out here. Chase their ass to that car. Cut their ass off in that parking lot. Yeah, that was young and immature. And that was stupid. they needed me, to learn that lesson. Well, he needed yeah, to. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. That's crazy. But yeah, I feel as though you definitely saved my life, though, during that time. You're welcome. That would have been a crazy situation. You're welcome. Shoot, sure, all them shit, don't do that, because I got into mad shit walking the cart. Did you die, though? <laughs> yeah, yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, did you die is a diabolical response. I'm just saying. Did you? Son. You fine. Bro, oh, yo, that's that story for another time. You know how much things I got into walking the clock? But you would want to walk late at night with the face so that says fuck with me. When, and then you had an angry the, ass face too. Like, when the dude when the dude tried to stab me over there, it was in the daytime. It was in the daytime. But you was walking angry. Even the... What about the, when, when I got off that train station, was that in the daytime too? Yo, it was one time I got off the train station to go to her school and dude followed me. Was that, uh, Ashby? Was it Ashby? Okay, babe. But you gotta think about like this Dude too. followed me, so I had to like, act did, like but I did, had to did you, did you ever think that like the same way you walked to get to my school, I walked to get to you? I was putting myself in the same amount of danger. There's a difference though. Ain't gonna come at you with the same type of energy. Most they gonna do is try to try to talk to you and try to get your number. Or they could have tried to rob me. Trying to rob a female is whole. That's just bitch ass behavior. Okay. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's that's. You act like it's not a lot of bitch, especially over there at that time by Ashby. That's crazy. By Ashby Station, like that's the kind of energy and time it was on. Yeah. That's why I'm glad you got a car. That was very convenient. Yeah. Yo, that was crazy. We've been through some times. Yeah, we definitely been through some times, man. College days, was, those were the days, man. Those were definitely the days. <laughs> what? I'm thinking about, he was like, oh, yeah, I'm prepared for college. You know, we was like friends first. So I'm just, yeah, I'm like, yeah, you prepared the right to be looking at the moon and stars. <laughs> What's that in poetry? Bro, she but don't, she don't even, do none of that shit with me. Son, though. she she but she don't, don't do even follow me. me but she don't do none of that shit with son, me. Son, hold on. But she don't even 
follow. She don't. She stopped following me like mad long ago, bro. Cause she probably told her nigga the story, and she was like, he was like, <laughs> cut that shit out, snip, snip. That's Ain't no more charging poetry out this bitch. She just disappeared. I, I definitely remember. Hey, that. I, it makes sense though. Because if y'all had like a, a little vibe and a connection, she probably, you know, married somebody similar to you. No, she didn't. She didn't? Nah, oh, the, so the dude. We're not good like that, but what? No, I'm saying, but the dude, she, all right, so the first dude she was with, like her first baby father, he was like a, um, he was like some extra Miami looking ass nigga. Like, you know, they, they lived in Florida. She lived in Florida. So he was like some extra Miami looking ass dude. Like some Florida looking ass nigga. <laughs> And then, mm-hmm. like, I guess he did what he did. And then the dude that she got married to, the last time I seen on her page, he was old as hell. When last time you was on her page? This was probably, like, ten years ago. It's so. just so fresh in your mind. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I just like messing with you sometimes. Whatever, I really do. Whatever. Say, Damn. Kim. I ain't, think, I ain't thought about that in a long time. <laughs> Now, I could have sworn I asked you to stay upstairs until I was finished. My boy had to come make his cameo. (gasps) My boy had to come make his cameo. Them punches is weak. Get him right, husband. Who man is that? What what are you doing? He looking at the camera. Stay focused on the... What you call that? Nah, he just want camera time. He want those. Anyway... All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the video. Is this the Quick question. Mommy? Did y'all get y'all hoodie yet? Oh, yeah, this, the, this your favorite I one. saw in the comments, old boy was like, you, you ain't going to tell him the link? What's the link? The link is under the video. Yeah. Okay, but also go to www. You don't know your own? No, because it's under the videos. It like It's over, overdose. It's Shopify, Shopify slash overdose last merch store. There you go. But okay. the, the but some link... people are audible learners. They just listening. No. They could have opened the tab and could have like searched it while they were listening to you. As you're watching the video, the link is literally okay, right Okay, but under... you don't know how people You're going to see the hoodie. The hoodie is right under the video. It's right under the Exactly. What the hell? Oh, you done put the glove on, Sankin? He put the glove on? He want that smoke. He want his get back from earlier today. That's what that's about. He said, you want to throw at me with shoes and shit? Come here. Where the other glove at? Look, I ain't throw the slippers at your ass. Being rude. Come here, man. Tell the people bye. Bye, ladies and gentlemen. Bye! No. Who you look like? Who you look like? Fighter. I fight a battle. Mm, I like you, sugar. Mm, yeah. Like too big, guys.